In regards to dental, we saw challenges in the dental plan being able to provide benefits over a career. The dental plan will now eliminate the lifetime maximum benefit of $30,000. However, the yearly maximum of $2,750 still applies. Additionally, dental implants, which were previously only covered for an accident under our medical plan, will now be covered in our dental plan for non-accidents as a class four service. The vision plan will now allow one routine eye exam once every calendar year, rather than every 12 calendar months. Cover one pair of frames every two calendar years, rather than every 24 calendar months. Cover one pair of lenses every calendar year, rather than every 12 calendar months. Cover contact lenses every calendar year, rather than every 12 calendar months. In an effort to make sure we are still getting the best deal on dental and vision coverage, and also try to solve some of the FDA issues, no later than six months after we ratify the new CBA, we will send out bids for our dental and vision plans. The terms of the new plans may be no less favorable than the current plans. Also, as part of this process, we will explore whether it makes more sense to remain self-insured for these plans or switch to fully insured options. This will be transparent to the pilot, but could have advantages for the company and the pilots. Thank <laughs> you.